it's Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In today's video, I'm actually going to be hopefully helping you guys out like a lot because I have been seeing so many posts on social media, people trying to figure out if groomers are open, if mobile groomers are, have appointments available, if um, self-service doggy washes are open and available and groomers are booked months and months and out because they have to have been changing their protocol and only allowing certain numbers in at a time and maybe even having furloughed um, some of their employees. I don't know what's going on but what I do know is that it's an issue. So in today's video I'm going to be washing my dog at home grooming her and I'm going to show you all of the wonderful products that I use to keep her looking like an amazing, wonderful model dog that she is, right? So if you are having trouble booking a groomer, finding a groomer, you're trying to figure out what you can do to get your dog bathed at home, groomed at home, check out this video and all of the links in the description because all of the products that I'm using, I will have linked in the description. One of the products is the Aquapaw Pro, which is amazing. I absolutely love this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. And um, I'm also going to, I mean, I know we're going to be taking this to our new home because it is so incredibly easy to install and incredibly easy to use. And also the shampoo that I prefer to use, I'll have all of that linked in the description. Um, there's also going to be a grooming kit that I like to use with my dog. All of this is available on Amazon, so the links are in the description. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Oh, really quickly, before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and look down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it, turn it gray, then click the bell, select all notifications. Yeah, that'll satisfy the YouTube algorithm and you'll get some great content. So let's get right in to grooming our dogs. Okay, so the Aquapaw system is really cool. It just comes in this little box with the hose and the handle and then the connectors. And you can see here, it's gentle on your dog. It has two streams and then it has these really quick easy install instructions and let me tell you it is easy so we just took off the existing shower head and ours was actually really old so we bought a new shower head then you install the little bracket that comes with the aquapal pro so it's like a little valve that you're putting on right here that will either direct the water into the shower head or if you turn it it directs the water into the hose for the Aquapaw Pro. It is really easy. My husband just used this wrench to um, tighten all of the uh, little bolts everywhere to make sure that nothing was gonna be leaking. And we did use plumber's tape um, just to make all of the seals really secure and seamless so that we didn't have any leaks. And we installed our new shower head, which you don't have to get a new shower head. That's just what we did because ours was like, I don't know, 30, almost 30 years old <laughs> in this house. So we got a new one. And it's that simple. And you can see here, once it is installed and you have the valve turned to the Aquapaw, it has two um, speeds for the water. And you just click the button on the top and it rests right there. It has even a little holder on the top, which we put it in the wrong way at first. But you can see that valve, all you do is turn it. So simple and easy. I think anybody could do it. Okay, so I'm getting the bathroom set up to bathe Kim, and I just want you to see um, what we're doing to get set up, because this, this is a really, really important step. You need to get everything set up in advance if you want to be successful <laughs> at bathing and grooming your dog at home. So we're gonna start down here with, of course you don't have to get the light set up like I do, a space heater, and I've got the space heater going on low. Um, right now we're going to, you know, when you're, you're, you're wet, you're cold, right? When you get out of the shower, we've got our shampoos here. Now do not ever, 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 never use human shampoo on a dog. The pH balance is all wrong. So this one here, uh, make with four legger shampoo and whoop, see if I can get it to focus. Why can't I get it to focus? Here we go. Four legger shampoo and, um, Animalio. I'll link that video down in the description. Um, if you don't want to do that, then Ken and Kind is the only other brand of dog shampoo that I will use on Ken. So we've got that ready. We've got our space heater going and we've got our Aquapaw installed. 
which is awesome. It has a nice long cord, as you can see here. And yeah. So we're also going to get right over here. So I'm also gonna get my drying station set up and then we're gonna brush Kim and get her in the shower. Are you all played out? Because we've already played with you? No? You want to play some more? Brushing you makes you look so much better, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Daddy might actually get his wish and, and shave some of his hair up. So got a... Good girl, can you turn this way? So Daddy can get you in the frame. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You want to turn that way? Show it all off. Can I kiss this? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Can I kiss this? Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got all set up. I've got plenty of towels over here. We've got our shampoos. The space heater is on. Um, one thing you wanna do is make sure that you have clothes on that you don't mind getting wet and make sure to put your hair up because it'll fall on your face and then you won't be able to see and then your hair will get wet and then it's just a whole like mess. So put your hair up. <laughs> And um, also, one other really, really cool thing, also by Aquapaw, and thank you so much Aquapaw for sending me these products to try out. I already have like messed with the, um, the Aquapaw system up here while I was in the shower last night. It was really, really cool. I really like it so far. But they also sent me this licky mat down here. So I have added a little bit of peanut butter to it. And I will say just really quickly, um, when you're choosing a nut butter for your dog, make sure it is organic, all natural, human grade, and that it has nothing else added into it, like whatsoever. No hydrogenated oils, no palm oils, no sugars, absolutely no xylitol. So check the ingredient label. The only thing that should be on the ingredient label is organic, probably dry roasted peanuts or if it's almond butter, almonds, or if it's sunflower butter, sunflowers. So um, yes, ours is, and, and it should separate, by the way. A really good nut butter is going to separate, so you have to stir it, but, pro tip, once you stir it all together, put it in the refrigerator, and then you don't have to stir it again. So we got that already. Kim is not a super food motivated dog, so I'm not 100% sure if she's gonna go for the Licky Mat, but we're gonna give it a try. We're all set and ready to go. So now I'm just gonna turn on the water and get it to temperature. Now, what I will say is that the Aqua Paw also comes with an option to attach it to your garden hose. I am not going to be doing that because you cannot regulate the temperature of that water. So we want warm water to bathe our dog, not hot. Like I, I get out of the shower and I'm like, lobster red because I really like hot water. We don't want to do that to our dogs, but warm water is what we're going for. Oh, look, I just turned it on because I already have the valve set to the Aquapaw, so it's not coming out of the shower head. So let me grab the Aquapaw here, and I'm going to fit it to my hand, first of all, which is a really cool feature. I'm going to get it so that it fits on my hand. Whoop. There we go, just like that. So I just set the strap to where it kind of fits loosely over my hand. And now I'm gonna show you what, what it does. You click it once and you get a light stream of water. You click it twice and you get a harder stream of water. You click it a third time and it turns off. So I'm st it's still not warm yet. I'm gonna give it just a second to let the water actually warm up and then I'm gonna go get Kim. Um, 
We don't want our dogs to get like too terribly anxious, so I'm gonna try to get everything set up before I actually bring her in here. So we're just gonna let the water get warm. All right, so now that the water is fairly warm, I'm gonna go get Kim and we're gonna get her bathed. What is that? <gasps> what is that? No, okay. <laughs> no problem. Let's go ahead and get you washed in. Ooh, that's nice. Another tip is that wherever the water is, anytime you have a heat source, so wherever the water is or when we get to the drying stage, you want to make sure your hand is wherever that heat source is so that you can always be in control of the temperature. So if it gets too hot, you can adjust it. Or if it gets too cold, you can adjust it. So always make sure your hand is in the vicinity. <laughs> All right, there yeah, and I've just got the low stream on. So she's pretty, she's pretty sensitive, aren't you, Lota? She's pretty sensitive. But having a tool like the Aquapod is gonna make bath time a lot easier. And if your dog is very food motivated, they're gonna be focusing on this licky mat a lot more than Kim is. All right, let's get you back up in just a little bit more. Okay? Okay? All right, I didn't know, we gotta get everything. Everything wet. Here we go. All right. Oh, starting to get a little warm. <laughs> okay, so let's get you shampooed. You ready? So we're using the Ken and Kind shampoo today. Hold it up so you can see it. Talk about it. So Kin and Kind, um, this is the Argon, Argon Oil Shampoo, and they do have a few different kinds. Um, Kin and Kind and Four Legger are the only two shampoos that I recommend for your pets. Um, never, ever, ever use a human grade, we need a little bit of water, shampoo on your dog or cat because the pH balance is all wrong. It could really irritate your pet's skin if you use a human shampoo or conditioner on them. Um, so we don't want to do that. Plus all of the chemicals and stuff they put in our, our shampoos, we just don't want that on our on our pets. So we're gonna get you all lathered up. Huh, get you all lathered up. And make sure not to miss their feet. We want to get a good lather in here and get in between all of the paws. Um, also, one other thing you do want to do- Get between all their toes. Get between all their toes. Did I say paws? Oh. Get between all their little toes in here, all their paw pads. And um, one other part of grooming is trimming their nails. So Kim actually got her nails trimmed yesterday. And if you are new to trimming your dog's nails, I have a video on my channel, I will link it below, that instructs you how to start trimming your dog's nails for beginners. So um, definitely check that out. I will link it below in the description. So now that we got Kim all lathered up and it is, it's a little chilly. That's why we have the space here going. Um, so let's go ahead and start rinsing her out. Oh yeah, yeah. Good girl. Oh, that's a little warm. There we go. There we go. So that's why you need to keep your hand next to the heat source because that water got really warm. And I wouldn't have known that if my hand wasn't next to the heat source. The really, really cool thing about the Aquapile are these silicone nubs. So it's like massaging her at the same time. But also if you have a dog with really thick fur, it's gonna get in between all of that fur. They have like a bunch of different coats because some dogs, like Huskies, they have multiple coats of fur. So it's gonna help you get in and get all of the coats of fur um, washed and cleaned. Okay, big girl. Okay, um, another thing that's really good about the Aquapod is it's gonna help you to avoid their ears. You don't wanna get water in their ears when you're bathing them um, because that can cause ear infections. So we want to get her all cleaned up 
but avoid getting water in the ears. So that's another really great thing about the aquapause that you can really control where the flow of water is going. Oh, sweet pea. Did you get you all cleaned up in here? Yeah. What a good girl. What a good girl you are. Alrighty. You feeling all clean, Kimmy? Alright. So, I'm going to keep my hand on her so she doesn't shake. I'm going to set the towel up to kind of block. But I want her to shake. Okay, can we shake? Can we shake? Get out of water off. We normally like to shake. Let's do it. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right. So now I'm going to take the towel and I'm going to wrap her up. Oh, I'm going to wrap her up. I'm going to put you in a little burrito. Okay. And we're going to head over to the drying station so we can get her dried up. You know, we can get on that fur dry. Yes. She's always most concerned about her face. So we're going to work with her face on the towel at first. She wants that face dry. That's her biggest concern. <laughs> All right, so let's head over to the drying station. Okay. Ready? Good. Okay, so it is good to get as much as you can of the water off of your dog with a towel, but Kim actually really enjoys the blow drying part. So I just have my regular blow dryer. What I will say is that I'm gonna turn it to cool um, and we can do it on low or high. I actually tend to do it on high. So it's gonna be really loud. That's why I'm gonna tell you ahead of time. Um, but have it on cool because that's still a warm air, but it's not gonna to be too hot for them. So again, anytime you have, especially something hot or even something cold, you wanna make sure your hand is where that, wherever the temperature is coming from is also there so you can really regulate what's going on you want to make sure you're not getting things too hot so i'm going to go ahead and start the blow dryer and start working on kim and all right here we go with the loud noise You look wild. You look very, very wild. We're gonna need to brush you. You look very, very wild. All right, so we just bathed Kim and I got her mostly dried. She's gonna dry off like the rest of the way a little bit by herself. Um, and we're gonna make sure to keep her plenty warm while she does it. We don't want them to get cold at all um, because then they will really hate bath time. So. In the meantime, I'm gonna brush her, and I also, there was something else I wanted to tell you, and now I forget what it was. Um, this is also a really good time to clean or wash any bedding that you have for your dogs. Um, I actually, let me show you here. Keep, I keep um, blankets or sheets on her beds to keep them lasting longer, and it has worked so well for me. Some of these beds I have had for 10 years. They're really high quality, high dollar beds. If you're interested in learning more about how to make those pet beds stay newer, longer, then I will also link that video in the description below. I did a whole video about that and how to clean pet beds and how to make them last longer. So I will link that in the description below as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get some laundry going um, and replace all of the um, blankets and sheets that are on her beds. I start with the beds that she sleeps on the most and I work my way around. Um, yeah, so we're gonna let her dry off and then in the next video, because this is like, obviously, as you can tell by now, a multi-video series, um, depending on what you need. So again, the link's in the description for trimming dog's nails for beginners and how to keep your pet beds clean and lasting longer. So those are all part of grooming. So, um, yeah, 
we're going to we're actually going to trim Kim's hair and I have a really cool set of clippers and nail trimmer or nail trimmers <laughs> yeah nail trimmers are linked in my Amazon storefront I don't know where I, why I said that I shouldn't have said that but anyway that's not what I was wanting to talk about um so scissors hair cutting scissors for your dogs as well as thinning shears so these are actually two separate things that I I have to show you in the next video so make sure if you're not already look down there that subscribe button if you're not subscribed it'll be red click it and turn it gray and then once the subscribe button is gray right next to it a bell will appear click the bell and select all notifications are always notify or something like that that way YouTube can actually tell you every time I post a new video including the next video in this grooming series so thanks so much for being with us here today and I'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video